something about the heart switching, in the sense this is what I said, whenever I feel like um, or device is turned on or off depending upon the output of the controller, we are what is the current rating, oh, sorry what is the current that is flowing just prior to switching or what will the current that will flow immediately after switching, it is those issues are not taken into account at all. Okay. So, what this is known as a hard switching, hard switching. Um, yeah. So, D i by d t and d v by d t are very high. Okay. Now, what are the limitations? Device stress increases, stress on the device increases, switching losses increases and electromagnetic interference. Okay. And see the, see the, um, the locus of, uh, loci of voltage and current. This how when you when you turn the device, when the device is turned on, when the device is turned on in hard switching, it takes a path like this. Okay. And when the device is turned off, current takes the path something like this, it comes and takes the path. This additional increase in height could be because of because of the the reverse recovery current that it has to carry or various other issues okay or this could be the in voltage drop voltage drop across the um, the uh, parasitic inductances now we can we can try to reduce the losses that are taking place in the device and transfer it to an external circuit by using a snubber let me tell you one thing, we can try to reduce the losses that are taking place in the device and transfer them to an external circuit by using a snubber. What do you mean by snubber? It snubs, it does not allow a very fast rise of current okay? or it will not allow a fast rise of voltage across the device. So, if I use a passive components like L and R, sorry L and C, it is possible to reduce the losses that are taking place in the in the device okay so but then these are these losses are transferred to the other circuit okay so overall losses may remain the same okay there are various numbers one is known as the lossless number losses number i am talking about the losses number wherein in addition to L and C, there could be a diode and uh, there could be a resistor as well. Okay. So, if I use a snubber, okay, you can control the rate of change of voltage as well as the current. Now, you just see this how the locus is, this is during turn on and during turn off. So, definitely there is a significant reduction in the losses taking place in the device, but then these losses have been transferred to the external circuit if it is a lossless number. A lossless number you might be able to feed them back, okay. but then there are area under the curve is finite and therefore, the losses do take place. Now, instead can I use what is known as a soft switching, what soft switching implies that? I will ensure that voltage across the device is 0 or it is very low, only then I will apply a gate drive, I will turn it on okay. or current, current flowing through the device will gradually starts from 0. Okay. What is those are known as the soft switch converters, see the loci now, how voltage and current change, voltage has fallen to a very low value and there and current is increasing from there. So, losses are reduced significantly. If the losses are reduced significantly, device stress comes down, EMI also comes down. Now, if the device stress comes down, switching losses have come down, my si uh, cooling requirements have come down. In addition, another important uh, result that is is I can now increase the switching frequency to a, a higher value. Okay. 
Now, it is possible to increase the switching frequency in soft switch converters. So, in a in a soft switch converter of use in a flyback soft switch converter, switching frequency could be of the order of 500 kilohertz. 500 kilohertz. Okay, it could be that high. So this is precisely the reason I refrain to throw some figures uh, when some when the audience asks me, sir, switching frequency kitni hai. I do not want to answer that question. It all depends on how you switch. If you do the soft switching, it may be possible to go as high as 500 kilohertz. If you do hard switching, you may not be able to switch at 50 kilohertz. So, stress on the device comes down to reduce the <coughs> overall, yeah, now switching frequency I can increase. So, what do you mean by, see there are soft switching means there is, there are two types, one is a zero current switching and a zero voltage switching. Simple, uh, they can be represented something like this. See, I have connected a small inductor. Now, if I turn on, see prior to closing the switch, there was no current flowing here. Now, when I close this switch, because of this inductor, current has to gradually increase. Okay. So, this could be a zero current switch. I have just shown a small part of the circuit. There are other parts of the circuit which I have not drawn. They are a bit complicated. I do not want to scare you now. That is the reason I just put an inductor here, a switch. So, this is zero current. Similarly, here I have connected a small capacitor. So, so when the capacitor is completely discharged, I will turn it on. So, we know the voltage across the capacitor cannot change instantaneously okay? or when I, I will turn off the device when the capacitor is complete, turn off means it was conducting it was 0 anyway. Now, voltage across the capacitor cannot change instantaneously, so it will gradually rise. So, this is known as the zero voltage switched. I am reducing the rate of rise of voltage here, I am controlling the rate of rise of current through the device. Hence the name soft switched. Losses are reduced significantly. I can increase the switching frequency. My size comes down. EMI issues are addressed. At what cost? Circuit complexity has increased. Circuit complexity has increased. Okay. switch on of the device when the voltage across it, it and or or the current through the current is 0. See I said you switch on of the device when the voltage across it and or or current through it is 0. If it is only when you switch on or off when the voltage across it is 0, it is known as a 0 voltage switched. Okay? And if the current is 0, zero current switched and both of them are zero, it is zero voltage zero current switched. Zero voltage zero current or zero voltage okay, soft switched. So, I am how to use a resonant somehow, now it is not going to be a steady current, current has to gradually rise and fall, there are LC circuit, there will be the moment I use LC, there is going to be a resonance and that resonance frequency is very high, I said in five, if it is a switching frequency is 500 kilohertz, the resonance frequency could be of that order as well. So, I have to use my, but then since the resonance frequency is very high, the size of LC also is very small. So, power electronic equipment which utilizes a resonant LC circuit as a part of the power conversion process, LC is very high. Depending upon the power level, it could be of the order of 300 to 500 kilohertz size of LC is very small. Okay. So, this is just the philosophy. Those who are interested, there is enough literature available, but then in the present day, uh, where the efficiency is the criteria, size again should be as small as possible. There was a question that what is the power density? Power density should be as high as possible for a given size okay, or the ratio of uh, power to the size 
should be as high as possible. One may have to use soft switching, but then it is slightly complex, but then it is not it is not impossible. There are converters are available in market if not in market. Okay. So, I will just show you the waveforms here. See the ringing. I am applying the gate signal. So, this is the device current. See the ringing here. It is going, this is because of the circuit par uh, parasitic effect, because of the diode recovery as well, diode recovery current, because that current has to, uh, diode recovery current, current now flows through in the opposite direction and it has to flow through some device. It may happen that other device, some, the, when the store on, the main switch may have to carry the diode recovery current. Okay. See the voltage across the device and see the spike here. Okay. Now, the product is product is finite and see the rate of rise. Now, see the soft switching, current is gradually increasing, it is almost like a sinusoidal shape. Voltage is also slowly falling, the product is most 0. In the first case, this is a, in this region there are losses taking place and, and, and in the second case, this is the loss. Losses are switching, turn on and turn off losses are, turn on and turn off losses are eliminated, conduction losses are there. So, these are the advantages of short switching. So, advantages are EMI is addressed, size is, size, yeah, the footprint make, will come down, but then there are additional L and C required complexity is increased. You may have to use an additional switch as well. So, there are various issues. Device stress, low EMI, switching losses are 0, separate LSC required. Parasit now, parasitic elements can be enhanced. See, all this time we said this is due to the parasitic element. Now, that parasitic inductance, I can use it for resonance. Try to understand. These are all, this are, this is a spike due to the parasitic uh, <coughs> element L or C. Now, that I can use it to our advantage, okay. So, parasitic enhance rather than, it is possible to improve diode recovery as well, okay. I can complete it or not only then, so diode recovery can be handled very efficiently. Now, this all depends on the circuit topology and type of uh, so, depends on the circuit topology and the type of control. Disadvantages, everything comes with the, with, with the price. Circuit, com, circuit becomes complicated. You might have slight weak currents. Might. Now, see, this is what it is. Safe operating area without snubber. See, this is without snubber. 1 and 2 without snubber. During turn on, say during turn off with snubber, I am controlling. So, therefore, losses in the devices are reduced, they are transferred to some other part. Okay, this is a soft switch. Okay. That is enough 